Once upon a time, in a tranquil village nestled amidst rolling hills and meandering rivers, there lived a wise old monk named Koji. He was known far and wide for his profound wisdom and his ability to impart teachings that touched the very essence of the human soul. One day, a weary traveler named Hiroshi arrived at the village seeking solace and answers to the burning questions that plagued his mind. He sought out Koji, hoping the revered monk could provide guidance on how to find true satisfaction in life. Hiroshi found Koji in a humble monastery, surrounded by the gentle rustle of bamboo leaves and the soothing melody of a distant waterfall. With deep respect, Hiroshi approached the monk and shared the struggles that weighed heavy on his heart. Koji listened intently, his eyes reflecting the depth of his understanding. After a thoughtful pause, Koji invited Hiroshi to join him in the monastery garden. As they sat amidst the blossoming cherry trees and vibrant peonies, Koji began to weave a tale that carried the wisdom of the ages. Life, my friend, is like the river that flows through this village, Koji began. It is ever-changing, never-ceasing, and filled with both gentle ripples and tumultuous currents. Just as the river finds its way around obstacles, so must you navigate the challenges that life presents. He continued, to be satisfied in life, one must cultivate a mind that is like a still pond, clear and undisturbed by the turbulence of desires and fears. Imagine, for a moment, that your mind is this pond. When a pebble of desire or a stone of worry disturbs the surface, the reflections become distorted, and clarity is lost. Hiroshi listened attentively, captivated by the simplicity yet profound nature of Koji's words. The secret to satisfaction, Koji continued, lies not in accumulating wealth or chasing fleeting pleasures but in embracing the present moment with gratitude and acceptance. Like the cherry blossom that blooms and fades, life's beauty is ephemeral. Cherish it, but do not cling to it. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow on the landscape, Koji shared the essence of the Zen teachings. He spoke of mindfulness, of living in the now, and of letting go of attachments. Hiroshi began to understand that satisfaction wasn't found in amassing possessions or in the pursuit of an elusive future, it was a state of mind cultivated through inner peace and contentment. Days turned into weeks, and Hiroshi remained in the village, absorbing the teachings of Koji. He learned to appreciate the simplicity of life, finding joy in the subtle beauty that surrounded him, the whisper of the wind, the laughter of children, and the dance of fireflies in the night. Eventually, Hiroshi bid farewell to Koji in the village, carrying with him a transformed perspective on life. He realized that true satisfaction was not a destination but a journey, one that unfolded with each step taken with mindfulness and gratitude. And so, the tale of Koji and Hiroshi became a whispered legend in the village, a reminder that the path to satisfaction is paved with wisdom, simplicity, and a profound connection to the present moment.